Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Swordan here, back again with another Rocket League car designs. And in this episode, I'm going to be doing the Black Market Decal Bubbly. If you guys have not hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to get up to date on my newest Rocket League car design videos. So let's get started with the first car design. Starting off for the orange side, we have the Saffron Octane. And then for the blue side, we do have the Sky Blue Octane. For the decal, it is obviously the Black Market Decal Bubbly. And then for the colors, for the primary, for the blue side, we do have a sky blue with the accent as a purple. For the primary, for the orange side, we do have a saffron with the accent as a sky blue. For the wheels, for the orange side, we have the saffron zombas. And then for the blue side, we do have the sky blue zombas. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the zombas, but I love the color combination, and I think they match perfectly with bubbly with both sides with the colors and everything. So that's why I chose uh, the zombas. But for the boost, for the blue side, we do have the non painted comet. I love how the sky blue and the purple match perfectly with the wheels as well as the car. And then for the orange side, we do have the saffron comet matching perfectly yet again with the sky blue as well as the yellow no topper no antenna no goal explosion but for the trail for the orange side we do have the saffron laser wave three i like i like laser wave so <laughs> and then for the blue side we do have the sky blue laser wave three so this is the blue side. Like I said, I really like how the colors match perfectly. And when I look at Zombas, I kind of think of Bubbly just because of the texture on the wheels match really nicely with Bubbly. And same with this side, I have the Saffron as the primary and then the Sky Blue as the accent. I chose the Saffron wheels on purpose to keep it more of a Sky Blue type theme as well with the blue side. So that's why I chose the Saffron Zombas as well. But yeah, getting into the next car design, we do have the Zowie Infinite wheels. Now for the blue side, we do have the forest green octane. And then for the orange side, we do have the pink octane. For the decal, it is obviously the black market decal bubbly. And then for the colors, for the primary for the blue side, we have a forest green with the accent as a darker forest green. And I'll explain why I chose the darker forest green over black in just a second. And then for the primary for the orange side, we have a pink with the accent as a lighter pink. For the wheels, for the orange side, they are the pink Zowie Infinites. And then for the blue side, we have the forest green Zowie Infinites. Now, the reason why I chose the dark forest green as the accent is it because if you make it black, the bubbles don't blend in this a little bit. I know it's really hard to see, but with the forest, the darker forest green, the bubbles seem to blend in just a tiny bit more. Like I said, I know it's hard to see, but I can definitely tell a little bit. And then the reason why I also chose a lighter side on this side is because for the pink, I think it glows a little bit more. It has a brighter feeling to it, but for the blue side, it has a darker feeling to it. So that's why for the primary and the accent for the orange side, I chose a lighter color. And then for the blue side, I chose a darker color. But for the boost for the blue side, we have the forest green cloudburst three. I know what you're thinking. The colors don't match perfectly. I just really wanted to include the cloudburst just because of, you know, it's kind of bubbly related as you can see with the boost. But the pink side is really where it matches up with the pink cloudburst three. The colors match very, very nicely on this side. Like I said, I just want to include cloudburst three. So yeah, no topper, no antenna, no goal explosion. But for the trail, we have the tachyon three painted pink for the orange side. It matches really nicely with the uh, lighter and a little bit of a darker pink. And then for the blue side, we have the forest green tachyon three matching the dark forest green as well as the little bit of a brighter forest green. So this is the blue side. Like I said, I chose this side as darker because of the wheels. It has a bit of a darker feeling to it. And then I chose this side as a brighter feeling just because of the pink is brighter and everything like that. So getting into the next car design, we do have the infinium wheels another great color combination with these wheels so starting off for the blue side we have the purple octane and then for the orange side we have the crimson octane for the decal it is bubbly and then for the color for the primary for the blue side we have a dark purple with the accent as a light green and then for the orange side we have the primary as a crimson with the accent as a sky blue 
for the wheels. For the orange side, they are the Crimson Infiniums. And then for the blue side, they are the Purple Infiniums. And the reason why I chose the colors, of course, is to match the colors of the wheels. Like I said, another great color combination wheels. So the lighter green on the inside matching the bubbly of the accent. And same with this side, the sky blue matching perfectly with the inside of the Infinium wheels. For the boost, for the orange side, we have a ion red, keeping it clean. And then for the blue side, we actually have a ion purple. Like I said, keeping it clean. No topper, no antenna, no goal explosion, but for the trail, we have the purple Tachyon 3. I like how it matches the Infinium, the darker uh, purple a little bit, so that's why I chose the Tachyon. And then for the orange side, we have the Crimson Tachyon 3. So this is the Crimson side. Like I said, a great color combination with these wheels, especially with Bubbly. I'm starting to like Bubbly a lot more as I do these. But yeah, the sky blue going throughout the whole car. And same with this side, we have the lighter green going throughout the whole car, matching the inside of the wheels perfectly. So getting into the last and final car design of the episode, we do have the Apex wheels. Now for the car, we actually have the orange octane for both sides. So this is the orange side. And then this is the blue side. I didn't like how the sky blue or the cobalt octane looked for the blue side. So I threw on the orange octane for both sides and it looked pretty good. So... And then for the decal, we obviously have the black market decal bubbly. And then for the colors, for the primary, for the blue side, we have a blue. And then the accent as orange. For the orange side, the primary is orange. And then the accent as blue. Basically switching the colors, which I haven't done in a while, so yeah, it looks pretty good. And then for the wheels, we obviously have the unpainted apex wheels. Hence why I switched the colors, because it runs as a orange as well as cobalt. So it works for both sides, the blue and the orange side. For the boost, we have the unpainted proton boost for both sides. The reason why I chose the non-painted proton boost is because it has the orange as well as the blue matching the apex wheels as well as the colors for both sides. No topper, no antenna, no goal explosion, but for the trail, we have the laser wave threes matching perfectly with the apex wheels as well as the colors with the blue and the orange. So laser wave threes non-painted for both sides. So this is the orange side. Like I said, I liked how the orange side or the orange octane looked on this side, but for the blue side, I did not like how the cobalt or the sky blue octane. So I threw the orange octane on for both sides. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode.